Well, I think the, the last part of that is pretty, I don't think I need to answer that. I think we feel pretty good about it. Um, uh, he pitched well. He pitched well. He had command um, to both sides of the plate, uh, command of the secondary. Uh, he was in control. There was a lot of soft contact. Um, he was uh, doing what he wanted to do, uh, missing bats, um, the no walk, and uh, really competing well. It, it was uh, good to see, and, and we needed that one. Dave, you tend to stick with guys who have a track record, and uh, Max didn't have much of a track record coming in, but when he had that slump in, in the summertime, you continue to stick with him and believe in him. Why? Um, every every hitter is going to go through you know, a time when they're not seeing the baseball well. And uh, Max, it was probably about two weeks. Um, but after that, you know, before that, after that, he's been very good in the strike zone. He's had a tremendous season. And so uh, for us, that, that's an easy one. You just got to kind of, um, at that point in time, I think we just gave him a couple days off, you know, here and there to kind of clear his mind. But uh, his just DNA to be able to stay in the strike zone, uh, it's pretty special, pretty unique. And so, yeah, to see him in this moment, um, not surprised. I'll in the back right. Hey, Dave, aside from just being healthy now uh, with Hutchin, is there a way that you kind of see him evolve where he's not just back to his previous form, but he's sort of even more effective? Well, I, I think it's the health is the number one component. And even going into last, this past winter, he had a regular off season where he could prepare for a spring training, and he showed that when he started the season, he came out throwing well. And uh, obviously, the injury to the groin in the middle of the season, but uh, working his way back, being in great shape, and uh, he picked up where he left off. So um, we were counting on him this year, and you know, he's done everything we had hoped. Yeah, you, you guys were so impressive in so many areas tonight. What kind of statement does this make about where you guys are at right now? I mean, we've said it. We're, we're playing really good baseball. Um, all of September, I think we've, we've kind of come together and offensively, defensively, uh, starting to pitch in the pen. And uh, this is when you want to play your best baseball. We have a lot of good players. Um, we've got, we're healthy. And um, this is a very focused and um, determined group. Center, third row. Uh, Dave, through so much of September, you pretty much relied on platoon lineups and be able to swap guys out in mid-game. The last two games, game 163, is how they were able to sort of have a platoon lineup start the game, but you stuck with them throughout the entire game. What does it show that the offense was able to produce the way it does, even when you sort of left their original lineup in? Um, it, it says a lot about these guys. Uh, so, yeah, we, we've got to get the other guys involved somehow. Um, we're going to see three right-handers in a row. Uh, but uh, to get David Fries in there tonight, to have that situation with bat, that was good to see. Um, but yeah, we have, we have guys that on the bench that can hit righties, uh, but I like our left-handed lineup. So uh, the challenge is to get these guys involved, but um, I, I like where each position player is at, you know, mentally right now, preparing for a game. Final question last one. When you talk about Max's pitch recognition and discipline, how much of that is, is a gift? How much of that is preparation through video? And how much of it is just trust in the guys behind him in case something does happen? I, I think it's a combination, but I think most of it probably is just his innate ability to recognize uh, strike versus ball. Um, and the value of not making it out. And it's not, you know, we talk about not making outs, not trying to walk. Uh, we walked a good amount tonight, eight times, I think. Um, but just understand the value of not making it out. I think that he understands that. And his ability to see the ball out of the hand is pretty special.